Hey guys, what's going on? Casey here, back with a quick update on the Roadster project. Sorta. Of. Um, so in my second to last video, uh, I was showing you guys some of the parts I had squirreled away for the Roadster project. And I brought up bomber seats. And I got a little bit of a reaction from some folks. The eccentric hobbyist, Dave, said I was skirting the line uh, between the R word, rat rod, and a traditional hot rod with my idea of bomber seats. So I just wanted to clarify my idea a little bit and see if there was any enthusiasm for a bomber seat build. Um, when I say bomber seats, really what I'm talking about is more of like a World War II uh, trainer aircraft or possibly fighter aircraft style seat. Uh, there's a guy named Frank Wallach, I believe, W-A-L-L-I-C, no E at the end from everything I've seen printed. Uh, maybe it is Wallace, uh, or maybe it's something else. I don't know. Frank made some really killer, authentic-looking bomber seats uh, for a long time. He did a how-to article in Street Rider magazine. They're beautiful. They're aluminum bead-rolled, all riveted together. Um, I don't think Frank makes them anymore. Uh, <clears throat> can't find any contact information for him. Quite a few people on the forum say that they've reached out to him since like like late 2018 and not been able to get a hold of him. A few folks on Instagram have said Frank is still alive and well, uh, but nobody said whether or not he makes the seats. So, um, without having much to go on, I looked at some pictures of a couple of different trainer aircraft seats. Uh, one was in the Morris Brothers Roadster. Uh, kind of what I was talking about, that look with a, a bomber seat in the driver's area, and then in the passenger's area, a B-24 oxygen tank used as an auxiliary fuel setup with a hand pressure pump on the dash. Kind of the look I'm going for. Uh, but original aircraft seats are very expensive and almost impossible to find these days. So uh, I think I'm gonna build something from scratch, as long as you guys wanna see it. And maybe even if you don't wanna see it. In fact, I've already started. No, it's not Sprite or 7-Up, but it is yellow and green because that's the only color paperboard I still had. Let me show you what I'm working with here. Okay, so. This is probably the best picture of one of Frank's bomber seats that I could find on the internet. And so what I did is I took this photograph and then I took my Kirky low back uh, race seats that are going in the Mustang, took some measurements just so I'd have an idea of the scale because it's a similar size seat. And, uh, and I went to work on a pattern. So I don't have much room in my garage to really back off and show you guys this whole thing. But so this is what I came up with. Um, this is just paperboard but I've kind of come up with the rough dimension of the seat back and the sides, kind of traced out where my uh, reinforcement plate with the uh, belt pass through where that's gonna go. Um, and then just kind of from what I could tell, and I found a few other photographs, but really this was the one that gave me the best idea of scope. And, um, and I created a pattern. So basically what's next, in my opinion, is to take this pattern and transfer it to sheet metal. Um, if I'm gonna do this as a video series, I'm probably gonna actually start with a video on how to beef up the Harbor Freight bead roller because that is the bead roller that I have. Um, and it won't do any decent thickness of metal without distorting. So I've seen people go and weld angle iron to the back of the frame to, to strengthen it and uh, and then, then it works quite well. Uh, and it'll be big enough to do this project. Uh, it's only got an 18 inch throat, so I'll have to do like, like the ribs on the seat back. I'll have to start from one side, work towards the center, then flip it around, do the other side. Basically, I've marked out where those ribs are gonna go. And then this is gonna be a reinforcement plate riveted onto the back, another rib, another reinforcement plate, another rib, another rib. I've got my uh, punch plate in the center. And then the sides um, are basically gonna get a piece of angle that goes all the way down the bottom and up the back uh, that, you know, I'll have to use the shrinker stretcher to, to put that curve in it. Um, have to probably pie cut and bend and weld just the corner. This would be a lot easier seat to make to weld it all together, but I think to do it right, to have it look right, it's gotta be riveted together. And yeah, anyway, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you want to see it? 
These are the Kirky uh, vintage 55 low back race seats that I'm going to be using in the Mustang. This is kind of where I got my rough dimension for the uh, for the Frank Wallach style bomber seat. Anyway, got seats on the brain lately. You know, that's the thing. You start to put seats in one project and inevitably you have to think about the seating for all of your projects. So that's really bright green and yellow, isn't it? Hey guys, this is a segment of my videos that I like to call What's Casey Drinking? This week, I'm drinking Seven Cellars, The Farm Collection. Cabernet Sauvignon, Paso Robles, California. This is a 2018 vintage. Excellent bottle of wine. And Paso cabs are nice. They're not super tannic. They don't, you know, I mean, not all of them. They don't give you that, that mouth sucky tannic feel. Um, they're more bright, generally fruit forward, I guess you would say. You can't really call a cab fruit forward, I guess, but but they're brighter than your average cab. And the number seven is not just coincidence, Denver Broncos fans uh, know number seven well, John Elway. Mr. Elway owns, I guess, a bunch of steakhouses in and around Colorado. I've never been to one, but John Elway uh, knows his wine, and so he's making his own now. The Farm Collection, Paso Robles is one of the best places in California to grow Cabernet besides maybe the Napa Valley. And this is an excellent bottle of wine. Something different this week, right? This has been open for a few days too. We opened this the other night with some pasta and yeah, anyway, and I'm still drinking it because I don't go through a lot of wine. I go through a lot of whiskey. Anyway, we should probably get back to the video. Cheers. So I don't know, guys, what do you think? Bomber seat build, should I do it? Um, I think I have the skill set necessary to pull it off. I have the tools, just barely. I think it would be fun. It definitely is within the theme of what I'm trying to go for, for the Roadster. I want it to look like something that somebody built just after the war in World War II. I'm going for a dry lakes style build. Um, I, think, I think a bomber seat is the right choice. I'm not gonna run a stock seat doesn't leave a whole lot of options, right? So, I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. I think it would be fun to document it. I think it's gonna take several videos. I think you'd probably have a video of the upfitting on the Harbor Freight bead roller. I think you'd probably have a video uh, just going over the patterns and then tracing the patterns on the metal. I think you'd have a video of the bead rolling. I think you'd have a video of the dimple dyeing, um, building the punch plate and probably doing the uh, the angle braces, and then you'd probably have a video of assembly. That sounds like a lot of videos. Maybe it would be like four versus like five or six. Anyway, I, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm kind of excited to do it. Hopefully you guys will be excited to see it. I was trying to think, you know, the Mustang project's taking way longer than I anticipated, which I guess isn't that surprising because it's a huge task to, to basically redo most mechanical aspects of the car, again, but having a screaming one-year-old makes it take twice as long, and uh, and I only get two days a week to work on it. So I was trying to think of a way to incorporate the Roadster back in, even though it's in storage and I can't actually physically get to it to work on it right now. So, I don't know, let me know what you think. If you like the idea, hit the like button. If you don't like the idea, hit the dislike button. That'll be a pretty fair gauge. Uh, hit me up in the comments, let me know what you think about the idea of bomber seats. Are they rat rod the way that I'm going about them? Or would they still be pretty cool in a traditional style hot rod? If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. That helps me keep the content coming week after week. Today is December 12th. Uh, this video will drop in two days. I've been going since March and I have not missed a week yet. And I don't intend to. I'm waiting on parts for the Mustang right now, which is why that's not up next again. But, you know, I'll find ways to stay busy. Anyway, I'm going to go and eat some dinner. I hope you guys have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. All right, bye.